I have been waiting for this for a couple of weeks now. You little ripper. Anybody in the FPV game that likes to do some tinkering, do some modding, you need one of these. Okay, so if you're wondering what this is, in this small package, it's the TS100. I'm sure a lot of you guys already know what the TS100 is. It's a super lightweight, super portable and super fast soldering iron that you can use on the field, at home, whatever. So it comes with a XT60, nice soft flexi power cable there. So that allows you to plug in any of your XT60 LiPos should you be out somewhere and need to do some soldering. So let's have a look in the package here. This is the TS100. Now I was pretty lucky this one actually comes with the preferred tip. So in this kit we have nice fine tip on the end there for getting into those little hard to reach spots. A nice little foam package here so I suppose you can keep it in there to store it when you're out in the field. And inside this package here what do we have? We have a small allen key, a couple of screws and an instruction manual which just tells you the summary and how to plug it in and turn it on etc. Let's attach our tip and let's get it fired up. On the scales, 30.57 grams. Plug in our power supply and turn it on and see just how long it takes to come up to temperature. I've just fired up here a, um, what is it, 1550 4S. So we can see it's telling us to press a button at the front here. And you can see straight away, 21 foot there, 100, 190, 136, 100 200, 300. <laughs> okay, so we're sitting on around 300 degrees now, which is certainly hot enough for some solder. So that was really, really fast. You can long press uh, the second button here and that will enable you to either make it hotter or colder. If you push both buttons at once it tells you how much volts it's actually drawing. Uh, a really good price. Like always check on the link below. I've got a code there which will get you this particular TS100 with the two tips for around 70 bucks which is really really good. I also thought I'd purchase a solder sucker because I'm always doing clumsy things and putting too much solder down. Get your solder on there and suck it off. And yeah, pretty small. Six and a half inches long. Uh, 16 centimetres long. If you're going to remove the tip, whatever you do, don't remove it while it's turned on or while it's hot. Wait for it to cool down. No power and then remove the tips otherwise you'll damage the circuitry. So these are the two tips I was talking about. You can see one's nice and pointy. You can get into those little tight little areas without um, yeah, soldering something you don't want to solder. And for the higher gauge, you've got something a little bit thicker as well. So they're both going to come in real handy. Good stuff. Thanks for stopping by, Skypilot. New soldering iron, you ripper.